In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to the job call system. First question. Entry to record the flow of direct materials into production. A. Debit work in process. Credit cash. B. Debit work in process. Credit raw materials inventory. C. Debit uh, work in process. Credit accounts payable. Uh, D. Debit inventory, credit raw materials. E, debit finished goods inventory, credit uh, raw materials inventory. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Entry to record the flow of direct materials into production. Now, if we if we compare the these, these answers, often we can use them and try to say, okay, what's similar between these types of answers? And that can help us to narrow down and what the most likely answer will be. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. So for example, the first three are debiting work in process and, th and those are all the same. So we would think, well, that's probably uh, it could be wrong. Maybe they maybe they had three that are all the same, and that's not the right answer. But typically, when they do that, it's because that's a piece of the answer. And and D says it's a debit to inventory, and and E says a debit to finished goods inventory. So these aren't similar, even in amongst themselves. So I would think then just by that we can basically say that it's probably going to be uh, A through C. And just to double check, I mean, if we look at D, debit inventory, that's kind of a vague answer because when we're in a production process, there's different kinds of inventory. It's either materials or it's it's work in process or it's finished goods inventory. Debiting just inventory is is not really an account. I mean, it's not really a detailed account. It doesn't tell us what the account actually is because there's three components of inventory. And we're going to credit our raw materials which uh is possible right we, that, so but that's why it's not d i mean and again you could say d is is correct technically you might say well we are debiting a type of inventory account it's going to be either work in process finished goods or raw materials but again you're probably going to lose that argument because this account is not is not really detailed enough to give us information and then e says debit finished goods inventory and credit raw materials inventory and we're not going to debit finished goods inventory because uh, we're, we're, we're just putting the, the goods into production. They're not finished yet because we haven't finished them yet. So it's not going to be those two. We're down to A, B, and C then. A says uh, direct uh, debit work in process and credit cash. So uh, I'll keep that for now. B says debit work in process, credit raw materials inventory. I'll keep that for now. And C says debit work in process and credit accounts payable. And that, you know that sounds kind of un, un not quite right because it, you know it's, we're not going to just purchase it. We, that would be like we just purchased it on with it like a credit card and we put it into work in process, which may be the case for like a small company. But usually it's going to go through the warehouse first. We're going to have to put it. I mean, if we're talking about a big company, it's going to go through the warehouse, in which we're usually thinking about in these types of problems. So. It's not going to be usually going directly into work in process and accounts payable. We're first going to go through uh, the, the inventory where we track the, the materials inventory. So it's not C. So let's go through this again. Entry to record the flow of direct materials into production is either A or B, either debit work in process and credit cash or debit work in process and credit raw materials. And again, uh, a and C notice are very similar here because that would be us putting it directly into uh, the work in process at the time that we purchase the materials. And again, if a, for a small company, that might be what, what is done if we're like a small, like a contractor. But 
for, for a larger company that makes inventory, we're not going to do those. So these two can actually eliminate each other most likely because they're the same, except either we're paying cash, we pot it on credit. It's not going to go directly into work and process is the point. It's going to go um, instead into raw materials. And then when we requisition the form, we're going to debit work and process the account representing that we're starting the process of working and credit raw materials inventory, the inventory account. So these are two inventory accounts. It's just going out of one, the raw materials inventory, and going into the other, the work and process inventory. So final answer, entry to record the flow of direct materials into production is B, debit work and process, credit raw materials inventory. Next question. A job order costing system records the cost of producing using A, A, job cost sheet, B, a calculator, C, inventory sheet, D, general ledger, E, first in, first out ledger. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. A job order costing system records the cost of producing using A, a, a job cost sheet. Sounds familiar. We're gonna, I mean, sounds reasonable. We're gonna use a job cost sheet and a job cost system to record the cost. I'm gonna keep that for now. B says a calculator. And again, it's one of those questions you might say, well, technically I do use a calculator when I do this, but uh, probably not gonna be a calculator. So it's probably not gonna be the most correct answer we're looking for here. And then C says inventory sheet. So an inventory sheet sounds kind of reasonable. I'll keep that for now. D says general ledger. Now the general ledger is going to track the costs, but it's not going to do it. I mean, every account has a general ledger. The general ledger is going to track by date, not, not really giving us the, the cost type information we want. Uh, it's not going to be ordered. It's not in the way that we want it to be ordered. So it's not really the general ledger. And then E says first in, first out ledger. And... <laughs> Uh, it's, it's that first in first out is a, is a system we use when we do the uh, merchandising company. We might use it in the materials section, but it's not going to really track all the jobs. That, that would be maybe something we use in the warehouse when we track the materials because we have to use a cost flow assumption like first in first out, last in first out or average, but not for the for all the costs. So we're left with A and C. Let's go through it again. A job order costing system records the cost of producing using a either a job cost sheet or c inventory sheet now of the two it's going to be the job cost sheet now an inventory sheet you might say well that's kind of what a job cost sheet is right but but the term we're looking for is the job cost sheet in the job cost system that's what's going to be used in order to track the costs by job so final answer a job order costing system records the costs of producing using a a job cost sheets.